In patch 1124B, this socialite build has reached the top in popularity and is a new S tier build. The build offers high survivability with Colossus and high damage using Kaisa's new meta items. Also in this build, we see a resurgence in AD Galio, which was nerfed in 1124, but is starting to make a comeback. According to TF Tactics meta report, this build has the second highest win rate in Diamond above, with 19.6% which makes it a very promising build to add to your repertoire. This is a standard build, meaning that you will use your excess gold above 50 to do a mix of leveling and rerolling for units. Your main focus will be getting to level 8 and getting Kaiso with strong items. And the main tank in this build is Scion, and you'll be focusing on his item. If you're not getting ideal items for Kaiso, some other options for carry units here are Fiora, Akali, and Victor. Fiora will be a lot easier for you to get your hands on, but Kaisa is your ideal carry. Since this is a socialite build, your positioning will depend a lot on the location of the bonus hex. If it is in the front line, a good idea is to focus on getting items set up for Galio instead of Kaisa. If this is the case, you can look to put in other options to Kaisa, like Fiora or Akali. Patch 1124 contained a nerf to AD Galio, but it has been making a comeback, and if you are able to use the socialite hex for Galio, the AD items will be very strong. I will be going over all the items later in the video, so you can skip to that chapter now if you are just interested in that. As long as the bonus hex is not in the front row, you can place Kaisa on it, as she will jump away shortly after the fight begins. You have two main options in the early game. You can play a standard strong early game with Garen, Ezreal, Kassadin, Blitz, and Leona, or you can play a mercenary comp to gain lots of gold for leveling and picking up your 5 cost units. The safest and easiest way is to use the standard comp. This will give you bodyguard, academy, protector, and scrap traits, which will be very strong early on. Your next decision is if you are going to win streak or loss streak. If you choose to win streak, you will want to level the 4 at stage 2 and then quickly level the 5 to keep this win streak going. If your early game comp is not very strong, the best plan here is to begin a loss streak and spend as little gold as possible to get to 50 gold fastest. You can start putting the tank items for this build on Garen or Kassin, as you will be selling them once you get a Scion into the game. By stage 3, you will want to hit level 6, and around this time you will be transitioning into the mid game. In the mid game, if you went for a standard early game build, your comp will look something like this. Ezreal and Seraphine in the back line, with Blitz, Tarek, Scion, and Leon in the front. At stage 4, you will want to level up to 7 so you can have the full mid game comp in. After hitting 7, you will want to save up to hit level 8 by 5-1 or sooner. It's okay if your build does not look exactly like this, but you will want to make sure you at least have Seraphine, Tarek, and Blitz by now. Once you get a Scion, you will want to get him into the game and put your tank items on him. If you went with the mercenary early game, you will want to start mixing in units like Seraphine and Tarek and fully transition to the late game build once you hit your payout. Once you hit stage 8, you can really begin to roll for the 5 cost units if you are not lucky enough to get one or both of them by now. While rolling for your 5 cost units, if you pick up other 5 cost units like Victor or Akali along the way, you will reduce the champion pool making it more likely to come across the units you need. You will need to balance the buying and rolling with your goal, but if you are desperate and rolling down all the way to 0 for your last unit, this is a very helpful strategy. If you have the ability to level to 9, do so and pick up a Yumi. Yumi is very strong on Kaisa, so place her next to Kaisa for added survivability as she jumps around the board. This full build with Yumi has the second highest win rate of all builds right now, with 19.6%. For items, the standard tank items apply to Scion, as there is not too much diversity in this set. The de facto standard items include Bramble Vest, Dragon's Claw, and Warmogs. Having all three of these makes Scion virtually unkillable with the bonuses from Colossus and Protector. Kaisa's current meta items are Guardian's Angel, Archangel's Staff, and Morella Nomicon. However, as of recording this video, the data is showing that swapping out Archangels for either a Rageblade or Static Shiv actually is better in terms of average place, win rate, and top 4 percentage. Let me know what you think about this in the comments. I'd love to hear your thoughts on it. If the Socialite Hex is in the front line, you will want to prioritize getting items on Galio instead. These are AD and Crit Focus, and they are Infinity Edge, Runon's Hurricane, and Last Whisper. With the Socialite bonus of 20% bonus damage and 30% healing on damage dealt, Galio becomes an exceptionally strong frontline unit. On the Carousel, you will want to focus on items for your Guardian's Angel and Morello Nomicon. Needlessly Large Rot, BF Sword, and Giant's Belt to finish Morellos. For Augments, the best possible Augments here is Share the Spotlight as the build has full Socialite bonuses. This Augment allows the units directly next to the Spotlight to receive the full Socialite bonuses. Celestial Blessing Augments are all around strong since they increase the survivability of your units. Another strong Augment here is Duet since it gives you a second Socialite Hex. The Rich Get Richer Augment is a helpful Augment to have here since it grants you 10 gold. This in my opinion is more useful than the maximum increase to interest to 7, since early game the extra gold will give you quite a lead and help you get to 50 sooner. There are a few carry options here if you aren't getting your hands on a Kaisa 
or not getting the needed items for her. Also, Kaisa's traits do not have any major synergies with the traits of this build, so any strong carries like Fiora, Victor, or Akali can be great here. Also, as touched on earlier, if your socialite bonus hex is in the front row, it is a good idea to instead set up items to make Galio your carry. In the earlier stages of the game, you can put these items on Fiora, and then once you get a Galio, sell the Fiora and put the items on Galio. Positioning is very standard here, as you keep Tarek, Scion, Galio, and Blitzcrank in the front row. And then wherever the socialite hex is, as long as it's not in the front row, place Kaisa there, as she'll be jumping away relatively soon into the fight. Then you'll want to place Seraphine in one of the back corners. If the socialite hex bonus is in the front row, place Galio there, and put the rest of the units around him. This is the only thing that's really going to matter here. I have had a lot of success with this build lately, and it is a very strong build to learn. It does not seem like any part of this build is too broken, so I think we'll stick around for a while without too many changes. Give this build a try and let me know how it goes down in the comments. Also, let me know what build you would like to see in a video next. As always, thanks for watching.